So yesterday my dryer um, stopped working and it stopped spinning. Everything else seemed to be working. It was getting hot and everything, but it wasn't spinning. So kind of digging into it, I thought I'd do a quick video on how to um, check the belt and replace the belt on an Electrolux front load um, dryer. So the first thing you want to do is pull it out, disconnect the power. There's two screws, one here and one over here. You can see I already pulled those. And then what happens is, and so what happens is um, that allows this to slide back. So you kind of have to hit it like this because it's touching right here. And with both hands, one on this side and your right hand, I'm holding the phone, um, you just kind of hit it down and it'll slide and separate here. Um, you may have to put something in here and tap it back, but I, every time I've taken it apart, I've uh, been able to just, you know, hit it pretty hard and get it to slide back. Uh, and then this, let's see if I can, this just comes right off and I'll show that here in a second. All right. And so all I did was just pulled that right off. So those two screws, the two screws that you took off back here, and then in conjunction with the fins that fit under here and sliding onto these, um, that's all that holds the top on. Uh, so first thing I took it out and I could, I just could tell it's missing, um, a belt. I believe there's a belt here. If I recall, I'll dig in more. Um, then that's what makes the, uh, dryer the drum spin so uh, we'll dig into that further um, to take off the front which you have to to access this and repair everything um, you're going to take out two screws there's one here one over here and then there's a couple right in here and so you're going to remove one from this side and one from that side i've already removed those you can see the empty hole there sorry it's kind of tight quarters in here and so once I remove that, I'll uh, continue. All right, and so this just kind of lifts, lifts off. And then you can see there's a couple of things you have to disconnect. You have to disconnect this from these teeth right here. And then you have to disconnect these down here. And all you do is you're just gonna squeeze those two together and then pull that apart. So those are the only two things and that allows the face or the whole front of the dryer to be removed. All right, and then at this point, we need to remove these four screws right here and separate this. And then what I'm also gonna do is separate this. That way I can take this whole front piece off and expose everything down below as well as the whole drum. So I'm going to do that real quick. And I also wanted to show there's one more screw that we want to remove and that's this one. And this here goes up through right there. And what that does is, uh, I believe it's a sensor for the filter or something. Um, but that plugs into the, the filter screen here. So, we'll... all right. So you can see here, um, this is after removing that, the, the shell on all of it and you expose this here. And so what you do, uh, to clean out, cause you want to clean this out. You can tell, uh, it seems like I'm taking this thing apart probably once a year. We live here in Florida. So sand and, uh, still have four kids in my house um some younger some a little bit older but uh, we go we're active outside so we get a lot of sand and stuff as well as a lot of laundry um but anyhow uh so this is a good time to clean this out and you might want to do that on a more regular basis than i do um i usually will get down in the underneath the filter and clean that out which goes directly to this here um but uh, anytime you take it apart, make sure uh, you or your repairman clean out the fans here um, as well as uh, we'll get into here. But this just comes off. There's four, there's four screws, you know, one, two, three, and then four going down into here. And then this front plate 
comes off. I guess that's five screws. Four, four plus the one. Um, another thing I was going to say, into that front face there, there's these little things are st stuck in through the back. And all you have to do is kind of take your nail. Sorry about that. Take your nail and you can kind of push these down here and uh, slide those out. So that way you can separate the face entirely from the wires. Same, there's one over here on the left side. So at this point, I'm going to clean all this out and then uh, order a new belt. I will show you here. So as soon as I took it off, like I said, there was no belt. And lo and behold, this one broke probably from being overloaded and overworked. <laughs> Struggle is real uh, as far as having lots of kids and uh, being active. So anyhow, I'll, uh, I'll keep on recording after I get this uh, completed.